Well, hello, hello, hello. It's been a long time since I've done a monologue. So this is the newest edition of Monologue Slam. However, this is the continuation of the previous monologue by the playwright called Ethel Fugard. All right, so this is play is called People Are Living There. This is an interesting play because people's life has been intertwined in, in ways that you normally don't see in real life. So without further ado, yeah, it's your monologue and get prepared to be slammed. I have a dream. Music is playing and I'm in a corner and so far no one has seen me. I think it's a party because there's a lot of people. And well, all I know about them really is the noise. Because I'm not watching. I'm holding my breath. But the noise is a hubbub. Talking and jokes and one very loud voice laughing heartily then the music stops i can't tell you how terrible that is just stops silence and sweat because i know i just know that that means it's my turn don't ask me what that's the thought it's my turn now I feel their eyes, without looking up, I know they are staring and waiting. That is my turn now. And I must do something. So I move. I walk. One foot up. A second on the leg. Then down. Two or three steps. In the silence. Safely. Then things start to go wrong. I begin to start wobbly during that second on one leg. My arm starts to go wildly. There's a feeling that I have five elbows and they're all sticking out. Knocking glasses into people's lap and falling over their legs. Wow, wow. I I just hope you guys got monologue slammed by this monologue. I mean, who dreams like that? I know I do. I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys do get dreams like that every now and then, but not every day. I mean, anyway, so the next monologue is going to be the final monologue of the same series written by Ethel Fugard. And you guys will be getting it very shortly. So, from myself, Lord JJ Bota, enjoy the rest of your day, or evening, or morning, wherever you are. Have a wonderful day.